Alright, let's go over how to install quickly. Right, so there are two current builds that I'm kind of maintaining at the moment. One is this version, 991. This is an older version that I'm moving away from, but until I get all the features I've migrated over to this version, I'll be maintaining both. But if you are a premium subscriber, that's the $50 a month, you get access to this tool, which is essentially the same. It has a new UI, but it all, the main difference is that it uh, does automatic contact enrichment. So as you're downloading uh, profiles or search results or viewing profiles, it will automatically search my contact database to see if it can find emails, phone numbers, etc. All right, let's go through that process. So when you open this up, click download. It might take a second to zip up. All right, and when that downloads, you can click show in folder. And once you have that, you can go here. You will right click on this. You will extract all, or if you're on a Mac, you can just double click and it will extract it. Um, or if you have 7-zip, you can extract files. I'm just going to hit extract all. And this lets you rename the file. Um, I guess I'll do that. Or not rename the file, but name the folder. So now we see we have that folder. From there, we will go to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash extensions. You can see that up, up here. And you'll need to make sure that you are in developer mode. So to do that, if you look up at the top right hand side of your screen, you'll see a button to select developer mode. That allows you to side load extensions, which is what we are going to do here. From there, you will then click load unpacked and Double click over to the folder where you saved and extracted that file. Click select. If you see something about manifest file, that means you didn't do that correctly. So go back through, make sure you click through and select the root folder. Once you've done that, then you can, uh, you can pin the extension here and then you can log in with the credentials that will be provided to you if you have access don't have access well then you don't have credentials and then click log in and now you're logged in and so from there you can go to LinkedIn and you will start seeing some of the features this button will automatically search for the person on github and it highlights in green if it found the person um, matching on email so if my contact if the email that they have either directly listed on GitHub or that they've committed code to or code with on GitHub. If that is in my database and tied to their LinkedIn profile, it will highlight it green. That is the person, right? Um, otherwise, it'll just give you a list of all the people that it came, it came back with in a search result for GitHub. And then, you know, then you can go over there and look at them if you wish to do so. Um, this button here, which is also down on the experience, uh, it's not really doing anything extra. This is just actually how I have it to where you can get the contact information, right? So this um, pulls back the contact information. So you can just click the phone number that copies to your clipboard or the email. Um, the add contacts button does not presently work. Neither does the clipboard button. The invite button does work. Um, and so I've got another video on how that all works. I'm not going to go over that here. Um, company info, I'll click on that real quick. It just gives you a quick view into the company, find others. You can find other people with similar titles within the organization. Yeah. And yeah, none of the connect buttons work on that right now either. And real quick, one other feature, I have this in other videos, but that I find useful is you can right click on a name anywhere on LinkedIn and well, anywhere on basic LinkedIn and you can then view that person's profile without actually viewing their profile so it will not show that you looked at their profile so if you just want to see who sent an invite to you you can do that and again if you're on premium it will automatically search for their contact information
Uh, but yeah, you can do that from anywhere. So if you're just scrolling through your feed and you see someone that you want to peek at their profile, you can do so right here. And then, yeah, all the other features, you know, we've got in other videos. I just, this was really more about an install guide for you. If you run into issues where you're not seeing these buttons and they're not working, best thing to do is to refresh the page and or go in and refresh the extension. If that doesn't work, clear your cache, clear your cookies and refresh everything. And if that doesn't work, you can send me a, a note.